Hello everyone, I'm Surreal Beliefs, and today we'll be taking a look at a newly released PC game called Gloomhaven. If that name sounds familiar to some of you, it's because this is a digital adaptation of the lauded Gloomhaven board game, originally released back in 2017. After a couple of years in early access, this video game adaptation hit its full release on Steam today. The reviews have been very positive, and I've been keen to try it myself. I don't usually find myself playing games with card-based mechanics, but I did decide to give this one a shot, and I'm really glad I did too. Gloomhaven is a turn-based strategy RPG. Now when you hear the word strategy used as a game descriptor, it can be kind of a vague term because of how much complexity can vary from game to game. But here we have a true strategy title. I found myself really having to engage strategically with its combat mechanics, which have a lot more meat to them than just, you know, hitting a guy until he's dead to get the shiny gold coins inside. Before we go any further, I want to make a quick disclaimer quite clear here. This video is sponsored by Asmodee. Now keep in mind, I only cover games that I personally enjoy, which is why you've never seen an ad for Raid Shadow Legends on my channel. Unlike Raid, Gloomhaven is a legitimately enjoyable game with a lot to offer. I had fun playing it, and it did capture my interest, and I think many of you might be interested after watching this video too. If you do want to give Gloomhaven a go, there's a link right down below where you can check it out for yourself. But with all of that out of the way, Let's actually dive into the gameplay right now. And here we are with our many choices. There is modding in the game, a level editor, and many game modes you're able to participate in. You've got Sandbox, Campaign, or Guildmaster. Now Guildmaster is an interesting one. You are the leader of a guild of mercenaries based in a town called Demon's Gate. The region is completely overrun by monsters and other villains too. So your goal is to clear that out and to connect Demon's Gate and nearby villages together through trade routes. Now, let's come over here to a campaign. I've got to think of a good name for my guild. I think I have one. The Gilded Hand. Perfect. All right, let's begin right now. Welcome to the harsh lands of Gloomhaven, recruit. You think you have what it takes to become a mercenary out there on the edge of the world? We are paid to venture into the darkest forests of the region and to step into ancient crypts with the unmistakable stench of death and rotting flesh. Mmm, lovely places to earn a name for yourself. Be ready to face cutthroats, undead, fearsome tribes, and dreadful demons from other realms. You didn't find yourself as a mercenary without knowing how to crack a few skulls, did you? And here's where the magic happens. So here's our map, and we've got Gloomhaven right over here. Now we've got our tutorial, we can follow the many different steps here. Level 1, Party Level. This is calculated by taking the average character level in the party, dividing by 2, and rounding up. This is then used to determine the level of enemies, the damage of traps, and the value of loot in the scenario. It's a lot of important information that you do not want to bypass. Knowledge is power, guarded well. Reputation level is zero. The party's reputation will influence the cost of items in the merchant's shop and the outcome of certain encounters. I would assume that people would know of me by then. Then we have Gloomhaven Wealth. Gloomhaven's wealth unlocks new items in the merchant's shop and allows you to create new characters with a level equal to or lower than the current Gloomhaven wealth level. Earning Prosperity will increase Gloomhaven's wealth. Prosperity can be earned or lost by completing certain scenarios or encounters. And over here, we've got to pick our mercenary. You can create, view, and add mercenaries to the current party using our roster panel. That's right over here, so we've got some options. We've got a few starting character classes. Each one has unique abilities and gameplay styles to them. All right. Now, we've got quite a few options. One of my favorite over here is a creature that I feel like represents how I feel and how I look too. Good choice. Now remember, looks aren't everything, true. Merc's ability cards are what define their actions in battle. You can click the starting ability cards button to make sure this is the right mercenary for your party. Now, we've got over here a bunch of information. We've got our starting cards and we'll go over how these work once we're in battle and you'll be able to learn how they work. And trust me, you've really got to plan things out properly. Once you do that tutorial they have, they go through a bunch of problems that you need to figure out, which I love a lot. Now, health, 10, 13 ability cards, no starting perks, difficulty low, 
melee damage and tank for your perks over here. All right. Once we get them, we've got a tinkerer, ranged support, the scoundrel. Okay. Melee damage. You're all about that. You do not aid teammates. Few defensive abilities, low melee health. Ah, Cragheart. There we go. 10 health, 14 ability cards, damage and support. Interesting. Not the strongest Merc in any area, so he's well rounded. Like a rounded stone. I gotcha. Okay. High health. Do like that. And some reasonable healing, too. Decent melee and ranged options. All right. Now, what about you? A spell weaver. These are very cool, but I think I want to keep it rather simple and easy early on. All right, finally, Mind Thief. If we get one, I'll call him Ratu. That'll be his name. I love him, and one day I shall hire him. But for now, let's grab a Brute. All right, your name? Oh, you know what it is. Now, whenever your character retires, you do get benefits too. Prosperity to Gloomhaven and a new character class to unlock. That's how you do it. There we are. I've got my quest. He has joined my party. That's one merc sorted, but I'll need a minimum of two mercenaries before I can go out seeking adventure. All right. Now we need another character. That's going to be you know what and you know who. Craghard. We'll call him Stone because today I'm creative. All right, so we've got our personal quest over here. Kill three oozes, lurkers, and three spitting drakes. I like that symbol. I'm not sure what it is, but I like what that could be. We'll take that. The perfect poison. That's my route. Okay. So we have our party. Time to do some adventuring. If you're confident with your current party, click on the center of the screen and close the party roster panel. All right. Done. Before heading out on your first quest, you should gear up. Right, true. So we all begin with a bit of gold. And that's what I need to look at. So we have a button right over here. They've got 30 gold. Each character has their own stash when it comes to that. And here's their inventory or his inventory. Now we've got many options over here. I've got only 30 gold. I do like being able to move quickly. I could also jump to boots of striding. That would be 20 gold. I could take like a helmet. Let's do that. When attacked, consider any times to attack modifier card the enemy draws to be a zero instead. Oh, I like that. That'll make a lot more sense later on, trust me. All right, so we have that for headgear. Let's come down over here. I could get him a shield too. Sure. Or, again, I could focus on moving. I do like to move around. So now we've got our boots. Okay. When it comes to stone, brute and stone, a very simply named party. Let's see. Eagle eye goggles. During your attack, gain advantage on the entire attack action. Well, that's really good too. What else do we have? A warhammer. Ooh. I do want to smash. Yeah, we're gonna do that today. There's my warhammer. Haha, <laughs> that's a great way to disable your enemies. All right, so we've done that now. We know a bit more. Gloomhaven isn't known for its well-mannered folk and good Samaritans. Gotcha. So we can partake in city encounters. Okay. You ever find a quest that looks too hard or one you've repeatedly failed to complete? The Temple of the Great Oak can grant you blessings. I gotcha. All right. The first quest location is marked just north of Gloomhaven. You are walking home late at night when you hear some suspicious sounds coming from a nearby garden. You move to investigate, and a shadowy figure bolts in the opposite direction carrying an armful of vegetables. I could give chase. But what about grabbing a few vegetables of my own? I've been blessed, great. In an area cut off from civilization with no viable farmland, fresh vegetables are a rare commodity. The thief already made off with an armful, so what's the harm in taking some more? When you get back to your room, you cook up a nice hearty soup and have a great meal. Perfect. Okay, that's going to help a lot. I like that. And here we have our temple. We're out of money, or we could get a blessing. Yeah, so we can't do that right now. Or that would have been nice. That would have been great. 
You can also see Gloomhaven proper. It's all over here. A nice little tabletop map. I like it. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come back over here to the world map and actually do our quest. Black Barrow. All right. It's a core quest. Kill all enemies in all rooms. And we're going to be off now. No, our starting decks will be okay. I know they're going to be fine. Now you can also see what they're all about. You get a lot of information about your enemies. We do need to watch out for living bones for sure. We don't know what we'll be getting, but we're going anyway. Everyone needs to eat. Whatever your reason for coming to Gloomhaven, out here on the edge of the world, that simple fact is never going to change. A mercenary can't fight on an empty stomach. So when Jexera, a Valrath woman wearing a red cloak and enough gold jewelry to keep you fed for a decade, approaches you in the Sleeping Lion and offers to pay you ten gold coins to track down a thief and retrieve some stolen goods. Well, seems like as good an excuse as any to sober up and start paying off your tab. This thief has taken some important documents says the red-skinned merchant, her tail whipping about in agitation. I don't care what you do to him. Just bring back what is mine. Based on Jaxera's description, it was easy enough to knock around a few alley thugs and get a location of the thieves' hideout. You don't find yourself as a mercenary way out in Gloomhaven without knowing how to crack a few skulls. So your target is the Black Barrow. Sounds like a lovely place. Encounter. You are headed through a mountainous region where the ground begins to shift and shake beneath you. Taking off your guard, you fall to your knees. The tremors continue unabated and grow stronger. You hear rumbling as rocks begin to tumble down the mountainside. I do have a rock friend. Let's come over here. Or actually, we'll take cover under a nearby outcropping and wait out the earthquake. You jump under an outcropping. But something is not right. Those among you, tuned to the elements, turn toward the face of the mountain and step into it, as though the rocks were gone. Inside, you see an odd crystal jutting out of the earth. You snatch it up and the tremors stop. Hey great, I did it. Alright, we're getting closer now to our target. The hill is easy enough to find. A short journey past the new market gate and you see it jutting out on the edge of the corpse wood, looking like a rat under a rug. Moving closer, you see the mound is formed from a black earth. Its small, overgrown entrance presents a worn set of stone stairs leading down into the darkness. As you descend, you gratefully notice light emanating from below. Unfortunately, the light is accompanied by the unmistakable stench of death. You contemplate what kind of thieves would make their camp in such a horrid place as you reach the bottom of the steps. Here, you find your answer. A rough group of cutthroats who don't seem to have taken very kindly to your sudden appearance. One in the back matches the description of your quarry. Now we've got to pick out our battle goals. I did go back and change up my items a little bit. And trust me, you're going to fail in these missions more often than once. You'll be able to pick up your experience in gold and come back later a little bit stronger than before. So don't worry if you do fail. It's a very unforgiving game for sure. Now I've got two battle goals. These are randomly generated. Dynamo. Kill a monster during the scenario by causing at least four more points of damage to it than needed. I'll try it out. It might happen. Who knows? Then over here. Okay. Reveal a room tile by opening a door in your turn. That'll happen. It's got to happen. I could change up my cards a little bit, but I think what I have is okay. Unstable upheaval is a tough one, but it would give me a good initiative score. That's a good thing. Rock tunnel. Oh, there's a lot over here. All right. Well, Let's go now. We're going in. I hope I made a good team choice. Take care of these unfortunates, your target says, backing out of the room. You can vaguely make out his silhouette 
as he retreats down a hallway and through a door to his left. Well, it's not every day we get people stupid enough to hand deliver their valuables to us, grins one of the larger bandits, unsheathing a rusty blade. We'll be killing you now. Jokes on them. If you had any valuables, you probably wouldn't be down here in the first place. Now let's have a look over here. I've got my two characters. We don't have our turn order just yet. You can also pick out where they start too. So we'll start right over here. We want to be relatively close. That way we don't have to spend as much time moving forward. Okay, you see all these numbers over here, like 13, 29, 35, or for Brute over here, we've got 10, 15, 18, and so forth. Well, you've got to pick out two cards. Whichever card you pick first will determine your position in your turn order or whatever initiative that you might have. So if I pick out Shield Bash, my initiative will be 15. Now, I only need to move up two tiles. Let's have a look over here. We want to move up quickly. I could disarm someone. Probably a good idea if I really think about it. But I also need to kill someone. Now, normally I wouldn't try to burn a card early on. Yeah, when it comes to your cards, they could either be available, discarded, or burned. Now, after you use a card, it'll be discarded, but it can be brought back through many different ways. If it's burned, it can't be brought back for that entire scenario. But we'll come over here and try to get a kill early on. There we go. Now for you. Either way, if I use Unstable Upheaval, it'll be burned unless I use a default movement or default attack. I'll pick it out just so I'm able to move forward. But after that, I need to attack someone. Massive Boulder. Oh, I like that. Avalanche could be good, but that would burn too. We'll take that then. All right. We are now ready. And don't worry if you lose, man. It can happen. It's going to happen. You'll be able to come back with more gold and more experience and do a better job. All right. Here's what we are going to do now. I would like to potentially go after them and kill someone outright or try to. Normally, I would disarm, but I'm choosing not to. Let's move up now. There's my default movement. Now, why don't we get a kill? I could kill you outright. Let's do it. I just want one enemy gone. Perfect. All right. That card is now gone, unfortunately. In turn, you've got to move over gold to pick it up. We're not going to focus on getting every bit of gold. I can't always do that, even though I want to. Let's move up again. All right, so I've got to use my massive boulder. Let's do it. We'll go after that guy. We've got to beat him up. And there we go. Ooh, I probably should have picked out another one when I think about it. Yeah, that guy would have been better. Now I know it's going to hit my ally, which is quite unfortunate, but it's only one HP. Well, actually it got him too. The radius was just quite large. Gotcha. All right, in turn, their turn now. Oh, don't poison me. Four damage. That's a lot. I'm going to use my heater shield. There we go. I'll nullify some damage. I could burn one available card. I don't want to. Let's take our damage. All right, it's your turn now. Two damage. Unfortunately, I'll have to take it. We're not poisoned, I don't believe. No, we're good. Okay. All right, let's see. You two are right here. What do I have? Aha. Skewer. That could be good. We'll take that in just a moment. I think I would like to pick up... Let's have a look. We could patch up and then attack. Yeah, that could be nice. I would like to patch up. Eye for an eye, then skewer. Okay. Then over here for you, what do we have? What could deal a lot of damage? You took some damage, but not a lot of damage. Rumbling advance. We'll take that for one. Which means we need a good attack. A really good attack. Avalanche. I don't want to burn anything. I don't have too many attacks on my bottom cards, unfortunately. So I could just patch up, really. Yeah, if you look at that, I wouldn't be able to kill up and then easily go after someone. Unless, again, I want to burn something. But what I'll do, I'll come over here and do a basic attack. Alright. Look at that. 
they show you what your enemies are going to do or what they can do. Move and attack. All right, my turn again. Retaliate can be quite handy. Yeah, a retaliating character inflicts X direct damage to any attackers within range. A really good one. You can do a lot of damage. We'll use it later. It's for now. I've got to strike. There we go. Look at that. One dead, one remaining. Now we've got to patch up. We should patch up. Got him. Well, let's end our turn now. We can't move at all. Back over to me. Well, I've got to patch up too. Let's do it. Right over here, buddy. All right. I wanted to attack, but I can't do that, which is fine. We undo. Yeah, see? Look at that. Can't do it. Oh, okay. I actually learned some. Okay, okay. That makes a lot more sense now. Have a look over here. See? These default actions are attached to either your top or bottom half of your card. I gotcha. Well, here's what we can do. We'll grab some loot. We'll be here for like one more turn, but hey. Two gold. Not a lot of gold. Your turn. Wow, four damage, really? That's really mean. Do I really want to burn a card? I really don't want to. I really don't want to, man. Don't make me do that. All right, let's look through what we have right now. We've got to move up for one. I definitely need to pick up shield. Yeah, these are buffs I just need in general, I think. We'll take that. We'll get sweeping blow just to move. I could rest up. I'll do that later. Or I could actually have our friend over here patch us up. Yeah. Do you have like a really good healing? You've got like a heal too. Earth and Clawed. Take that one. Then back up ammo to move. All right. In selection, 70. Ooh. But they're able to do a lot of damage, which is not great for me. Let's kill them. And dead. Okay, we did that. We'll move over here. We'll grab our gold. I could skip my movement. I wish I could just like pick it up. That would be nice. If I open a door right now, ugh, I might wait for just one turn. Skip movement. Just to grab my money. Done. Two gold. Okay. So, we definitely want to patch him up. We definitely want to do that. Done. All right. Obviously, I don't need to attack, so we're just going to skip our attack, and then we'll probably do like a long rest or something fun. All right, so over here, you've got a long rest. Burn one discarded card to recover all other discarded cards. You heal up for two HP. You've got short rest. Burn one discarded card at random to recover all other cards that are discarded. Well, I'll do a long rest, okay? And over here, another long rest. So I've burned four Brute one card so far yep let's do it we've got to done and done that's how we're gonna do it today all right you can see all of my mini cards that i have left right now select an ability card to burn it hurts me deeply but which one am i going to get rid of i do want to be able to move skewer is pretty neat i do like my dagger i want to be able to heal again and roar would allow me to move so quickly up there Darn. Sweeping blow. Goodbye. All right, that's gone. In turn. Then over here, long rest again. We don't actually need to really patch up that much, but I wanted to choose what I burned. Okay. Backup ammo. We'll burn that one real quick. There's a lot I don't know, so don't take my advice as sage wisdom. All right. So, we want to be able to move, and we want to be able to move pretty darn far, I think. I don't want to burn anything at all. Three is not so bad. We also need to patch up more. We could do that now, but I think what we'll do... We're going to take... Not that. We need a good attack. We could get Retaliate. We don't want to burn anything. I've got Spare Dagger. We could take that, too. What else do we have? Do we have, like, anything really that fun? Shield? Okay. But I need to be able to move, so that wouldn't do it. And I don't want to burn the card. That's what I'm talking about, guys. It's a lot. We'll take these two for right now. Then over here for you, you could heal him up again. 
but I want you to be able to move. Do you have like any top moves or is it all attacks? We do have a top heal so I can move and then heal him up. Okay. Rumbling advance. We'll try to watch out with that if we can. Nature's lift. That is going to be next. Okay. Now. Let's move a little bit, huh? Open door. We can see our many enemies. We've got some over here. We need to disarm one of them. All right, we're up now. Let's get him. Only one damage. I rolled a minus one. There are modifiers that can change things up. So again, very, very hard. All right, let's end our turn. That's why I want it to be a little bit beefier. Now, my other option is I could try to heal him up. I could move up. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's fully patch up our buddy. Okay. Why don't we just move right over here? We'll move out later. We'll patch him up completely. It's only two damage that he needs, but he's got it now. Back over to them. Oh, shoot. She's moving up. She'll attack on her following turn. Zero damage. He rolled a minus two. Nice. All right, he's buffed up. Now it's back over to me. Okay. What do we want to do to really mess him up? Warding strength could be really good. All right. We'll get shield, then warding strength. Then over for you, what do I want? I would like to really beat someone up, I think. I mean, really hurt him a lot. I wouldn't be able to move between two of you. I could push one of you, though. That's interesting. Avalanche could be... Actually, hold on. One, two, we can move like here, maybe. Yeah, 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 okay. I like that. Avalanche, it is. Well, I would lose it afterwards. I could also create some stuff. Heaving swing, I could still push someone. All right. So what we'll do, I think we'll take that again. Okay. Earth and Clawed, very neat for a ranged attack. Could grab that too, but we'll wait on that one. All right. Heaving swing. In selection. Okay. 15 to 68. The bandit guards, well, they're around. They're doing their part. Okay. Let's have a look real quick. We don't want to burn anything up here. I don't want to anyway. All allies suffer one damage. All right, heaving swing. Now we're going to move before we actually do that. I'm so used to brute going first. It's weird that he's actually going first. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll move. I mean, I do have unstable upheaval. Yeah, we'll just move right over here. I'm going to hit him. Done. Four damage, which is a crap ton, dude. If only I could push him onto the trap, that would have been awesome. But he's now back. So now he's got to move up a little bit. That's still very powerful. All right, back over to Brute again. Now we can push him. Let's do that right now. Check it out. Oh, well, he's just dead. But that would have killed him outright. All right, then we'll use Shield. Yeah, there we go. Tanky boy. And turn again. You know, if you watch me, you know that I like to move quickly. But as of late, I'm just trying to take my time here. Because if I don't, I'm going to die, man. I'm going to die. All right, we could patch him up. Then after that, I could use spare dagger. Let's do that. Then over here for you... You could patch up more. You've got loot, which allows you to obviously loot a lot of stuff. We've got Earth and Clawed. We could try that. Okay. Then after that, we can move a lot, actually. We'll want to patch up, though. 50 and 56. Okay. I'm still well ahead. I'm doing okay. I don't want to burn anything. We've got Spare Dagger, which again is awesome. Let's kill that guy. I don't like the trap, though. I'm very worried about that trap. Two damage. Crap. All right. Well. Oh, shoot. You're too far away, buddy. Can't do it. I'm very sorry. But what I can do, I can move over here and grab some gold again. It's all about that gold. All right, Brute, you're done. Now, back over to our other buddy. Here's your ranged attack. 
Let's try it out. Four damage, nearly dead. One more to go, then that target is gone. I could have patched up, but I chose to do that instead. I'm hoping that she won't deal a lot. I'm getting greedy here. Minus one. I'll take it. Oh, but that was a four. Here we go. I'll negate it by one. All right. We'll do it again. She's killing me, man. All right. So we can only move up to two. Oh, that's a really tough one, isn't it? Yeah. That's a really tough one. All right, well, here's what I wanted to do then. I'm just going to pick these two. I'll rest up afterwards. Then over here, you can move up quite a bit with your massive boulder. You could also beat the hell out of her with one attack. Just one attack, really. Yeah, we'll take these two. Then do our rest. We'll still take two damage, but hey, it happens. All right, so I could buff up. That's true. I could burn my attack, which I obviously don't want to do. I wish I could hit these traps, but I can't do it. Undo again. All right. Let's see then. What am I going to do about that? I'll just move over here. I can still, well, kill her outright. Oh, not quite there. I'm not rolling well. Ooh, there we go. That was a zero. All right, back over to you. You can't heal up anyone, but let's move over here real quick, okay? Again. Then finally, finish off our enemy. And it's over. All right, in turn again. So now we've got to do a long rest once more. And what else do we have? No heals at all. A long rest again. You know what to do. All right, what are we gonna break up? Oh, it really depends on what we need right now. I could use my skewer early on to do some fun stuff. I'm gonna burn everything in our next room. So that's where everything is just gonna get burned. Leaping cleave for that jump. Jump is nice to have. Oh, it's so tough. All right, I'll need to use warding strength when I move up there. Yeah, do I have like any top moves? I think that's just like all attacks. So, yeah, I think they're just going to separate it like that. All right. Shoot. I'll have to burn something. There it is. Okay. It's so tough. All right, Brute, you're done. He'll take two more damage anyway, unfortunately. Back over to you. We'll try to patch him up. Let's get rid of Dirt Tornado. All right. Round 10 now. So... What hills do we have? Like, do we have like anything really that good for healing? I mean, we have some okay stuff for healing. We'll need to move up soon. I'll want to even move back if I can. Spare dagger. From attacks targeting me. All right. Let me see here. I've got to move up and I don't know of other ways to get rid of traps. I really don't. I wish I did, but I don't. Man, that one push would have saved me two points of damage, honestly. I mean, all of my stuff that I've burned is pretty high on the tier list, and I can't just end my current turn, so I've got to use something, which means I've got to move right through and getting... Okay, okay, so if I want to get inside, I need to go skewer. Then I won't have, of course, my shield, which is really unfortunate. I could patch up for two. I think having my shield would be really good too. Shield bash. Yeah, so I think what I'll do, I'll get Shield Bash and Skewer to stay alive. Okay. Now, I also want you to move up, too. You could, I suppose... Oh, yeah, here's Nature's Lift. Yeah, that would work out. We can move up by two, then use Nature's Lift to patch them up. In Selection, hopefully I made a good choice. I don't know. I really don't know. Let's burn it, baby. We've got to. All right, I could burn one available card. I do like that retaliate a lot. Spare dagger, it's a ranged attack. But I could take two more damage too, which is incredibly scary. You know what? I'll have to get rid of that one. I won't need it once I'm in there. Through the door, you find yourself face to face 
with the reason these bandits chose this particular hole to nest in. Animate bones. Unholy abominations of necromantic power. Nothing more to do but lay them to rest, along with the remainder of this troublesome rabble. Okay. Now I can just charge right in and say, ah, hello. Let's do it. I'm going to shield bash some fool out there. Skip movement. I've got to right now. They'll be stunned. I mean, I've got to burn it all now. It's time. I've got to be deadly and mean. Let's go. Four damage. I was hoping for a good critical, but that's gone now. Okay, buddy. We're going to have you move up a little bit. Nature's lift. Do your bit. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Here we go. Three damage. I'll use my shield. I've got two. If I burn too much, it's over for me. Now we've got living bones. So we might end up losing him. Now I've got to burn one available card. Oh, I hate all of you. I really do. Okay, that's a two shield. That's a heal. Retaliate. He's not going to be able to heal for that much. Now I wish I had that, huh? Okay. Back over to me. I'm going to be done after one turn. So I'm going to go ham here pretty much. Which I really can't do, honestly. Yeah, they're all burned. All right. Which means it might be on you, pal. Do I have a fun jump somewhere? Let's see. We got Earthen Clawed. I guess I was too worried about keeping him alive. Because now it doesn't even really matter. Massive Boulder Avalanche. I know there's like one where I could destroy stuff, but I think that might be gone. That might be done for. Yeah, okay. So I'll take that. I'll get massive boulder. Ooh, that's a really good initiative. Okay. All right. So I've got my massive boulder. I would love to be able to move onto his spot, but I can't do that. I wish I could undo waypoint. We'll move over here. And then I suppose we'll use massive boulder. Shoot, I don't want that to hit him, though. It'll take out at least one of them. All right, let's go. He's almost done for anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. No, we actually got two of them. Nice. Okay. We're going to end his turn now. Back over to you. All right. I've got to burn my card. Got to. He's going to be exhausted and gone. Yeah, now he's gone, so now I've got the one character, so... I've got to go up there and just beat the crap out of them. Just completely. Just destroy their souls. Alright. That's a move too, which I do not like. Do we have a further move? Don't think we do. So I would move one, two. Ooh. That wouldn't do it, huh? I could heal up for two afterwards. I could heal up for four as well. Alright, let's go. In selection. They've got two left. They could crit me and defeat me here. That's really the scary part. I've also got my Earth and Clawed. I could still move up by two. That would almost kill one of them. You know what? Immobilize? Sure. Let's go. Oh my god, yes indeed. Oh my god, okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. It is time. Skip ability. Done. In turn. I've got my two gold. That's a lot of enemies for your very first mission. Zero damage. Round 13. Okay. All right, let's see here. I'm going to do a short rest, okay? Okay to get back my cards. Burn it. I don't care. I've got tons of cards. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, so that's four damage. We'll use that to move and then avalanche. I saved so much on stone. I think we're going to be okay, man. I think we're going to be all right. All right, let's come over here. 
right by you. Then Avalanche. Got him. Five damage. I got a plus one. In turn. All right, victory. I wasn't able to grab everything. You take a moment to catch your breath and steel yourself against the visions of living remains ripping at your flesh. Yeah, no kidding. Your target is not among the dead. And you shudder to think what horrors still await you in the catacombs below. Yeah, we did it. Those are my records. One perk point. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I was hoping to be able to do that with him, but it just didn't work out like that. And it's okay. We can always get more. We can always train up more and do more things. But yeah, as you can see, that was, for me, very challenging. I'm, sur I'm sure there's like some of you who are like, yeah, I'm an old vet. But for me, that was hard. Now, what's over here? Occasionally, you'll come across linked quests. Linked quests share a narrative arc and are encouraged to be completed one after the other. By going directly to the linked quest, you will avoid running into road encounters. Ah. Well, I'm not going back. That was tough, man. I'll come kill him later on. Let's come back right now. Is there going to be another? Yep. What do we have? What's going on? Oh, no encounter? Okay, I was wondering. We've got a city one over here. Occasionally, your dealings in town lead you past the bustling docks. All conversation gets drowned out by the constant din of loading and unloading cargo and crew. This makes it all the more surprising when you hear a voice above the noise directed straight at you. Oi, you with the hard looks and big arms. Oh, they need help? Sure. Five gold each. Nice. So now we've got nine gold, 11 gold, and I've got a lot of training to do. But there's my little preview of the game. Again, if you need a thoughtful and hard game where, man, you've got to really use your big brain, then check it out. Make sure you do use my link right down below too. But thank you for watching, everyone. If you did enjoy this, let me know. I think I'm going to be streaming it once I'm coming back to Twitch, which is going to be later on this month. But look forward to that too. Either later in October or early November, I'll be streaming and I'll be streaming this game too, in addition to many others. But thank you for watching, everyone. And until then.